It will really save you a lot of time worrying and it will save you a lot of surprises. And I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to vegan baking, that's not where I like my surprises. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Natalia Lima, founder and owner of Curious Cat Bakery, and this is the spot where I share my vegan baking tips, recipes, and hacks. And today, it's the last one we're talking about, vegan baking hacks. Everyone loves a good life hack. It's a shortcut to get the results that you want, and vegan baking is no exception to that. So today, I'm sharing five of my favorites, little shortcuts, little things that you can do that will make your vegan baking easier, faster, and more delicious, of course. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm here every week with new videos and new tips on vegan baking. So make sure you do that. It's completely free to do so and you can always change your mind later. But for now, let's talk vegan baking hacks. How many times have I said hack by now? My first vegan baking hack is to sift your ingredients. When you sift your ingredients, you do two things. One, you're getting rid of any clumps or lumps that you might have in that ingredient like flour or baking soda. I mean, there's nothing worse than biting into a cake and having that one clump of baking soda that didn't quite spread and it's just salty and gross and ugh. So you definitely don't want that for obvious reasons. But when you're sifting your ingredients, you're also adding air to them. I know it sounds weird, but that's gonna help you get a rise. So in non-vegan regular bakes, you would have eggs and that part of the recipe would help that cake or cookie or whatever you're making get a nice rise. Obviously when you're vegan baking, you don't have eggs and you're gonna need all the help you can get in that department to get your cake to rise. Now first you're gonna have to pick your right replacement. I have a whole video about that, this one over here. I'll put the link in the description below. But a little extra help never hurt anyone, so that's what this hack is all about, is getting that extra rise by just adding air to it. Another sneaky little helper in that rising department is to use cold water or milk in your recipes. Now, I'm not a chemist or a scientist, so I cannot tell you why that is. Now, what I can tell you is that I have baked a whole lot of cakes in my life and my career as a professional baker and it just works okay so you will notice that most of your recipe books ask for cold water or milk to be added to a recipe in the wet ingredients and i looked it up online and i have no idea if this is true or not but according to the internet it's because the cold water or milk helps the fat particles in your recipe melt slower and that gives you a better rise I mean, it sounds like it could be true. I have no idea if that's why. All I know is that it actually works and I get a better rise out of my cakes and that's good enough for me. My third vegan baking hack is a given for a type A extremely organized personality like mine, but in case that's not you, is to lay out your ingredients ahead of time. But let me convince you if this is not your style. When you do that, you avoid going through that terrible situation where you go through half your recipe only to find out you're missing an ingredient. Been there? Hated it. Okay, you are out of baking soda, so you're just gonna sub for baking powder, I guess. I'm not running to the store right now. Or you don't have any brown sugar, so I guess we'll put maple syrup. It should be fine, right? You'll be fine. It will not be fine. It will not be fine. I talked more about this in this video over here. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna watch that next. It will not be fine. At best, it might be okay, and you might turn out with a recipe that kinda works, but it's not gonna be as good as if you had just followed the recipe as it was meant and intended to be. So don't put yourself through that. Lay out your ingredients ahead of time and you won't end up in that situation. The second reason why you wanna lay out your ingredients ahead of time is because sometimes in baking, things are time sensitive. So if you're making vegan caramel, for example, you don't have time to go searching for vanilla extract while you have your butter and brown sugar in the pot melting. Because by the time you come back and you get that, you get that vanilla extract in the tablespoon that what you thought was in that drawer but was not in that drawer and you have to go backwards to go find it. By the time you come back, everything is gonna be burned and crystallized and now you have a really big mess to clean up. You don't have your caramel and everything is ruined. Why? Just don't put yourself through that, okay? Put some music on, just lay out your ingredients ahead of time, measure them ahead of time and it's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of frustration down the road. 
My fourth vegan baking hack is to find brands that you like and stick with them. This is gonna save you time in wondering how an ingredient is reacting in different recipes. So over here on the channel, I've mentioned several times how I use Earth Balance Butter as my go-to vegan butter substitute. And so that means that I use it for cookies, buttercream, croissants, everything at the bakery, I use Earth Balance. And that means I know exactly how Earth Balance melts, I know how it creams, I know how it reacts in different recipes. So I know what it's supposed to look like when things are going right. And so if something is going wrong, it's really easy for me to spot it and course correct. Meanwhile, if I use different brands of vegan butter, they all have different ingredients. That means they're gonna have different melting points. That means they're gonna look differently once I cream them or add them to a cookie. Now, I wouldn't know what that right texture is supposed to be like because it's a different ingredient. Now, because I use Earth Balance in the same brand every single time, yeah, sometimes something goes wrong I can course correct really quickly because I know this consistency is not what it's supposed to look like. So I can add a little more flour. I can add a little more sugar confidently knowing that I know what that's supposed to look like. The same thing goes for vegan milk substitutes and I have a whole series about vegan milk substitutes and I'll put the link in the description below if you want to watch that. And in that I really show how different milks bake differently. They act differently in recipes. So. I use almond milk for pretty much all of my bakes, and that allows me to know what the batter looks like and what they bake like. Meanwhile, if I used almond milk one day, oat milk the other, hemp milk the other day, I would never know what to expect. I would not know what the baking time should be, what the color should be. I would never truly know what the right one is supposed to look like because it's always changing. So you save a lot of time and effort and worry by just sticking with one brand such a small hack but it will really save you a lot of time worrying and it will save you a lot of surprises and i don't know about you guys but when it comes to vegan baking that's not where i like my surprises as a side note i am happy to share more of the vegan brands that are my go-to when it comes to vegan baking so if you want to see that in the future if you want to see a video where i just share my favorite brands and products make sure you put that in the comments below i'm happy to do that if you want it my fifth and final vegan baking hack is that you don't need to make everything from scratch why would you make your life harder than it needs to be honestly there are plenty of things out there that are vegan that you can use as fillings or toppings for your bakes and that don't require extra work so why would you make jam from scratch when most jams out there are already vegan just check the label as vegans we're good at that just check that label put those laser eyes to where i can make sure there's no milk added or anything like that and if it's vegan use that as your filling it's great Fresh fruit is another super easy and obviously vegan way to add things to your bakes that will make it pretty and also add a lot of taste to it. Oreos are vegan. Biscoff cookie butter, completely vegan. You know I love that one and I have two recipes for that because I love it so much. Why would I make that? Why would I make cookie butter from scratch when there's a perfectly good vegan option available that saves me time? If you have a vegan grocery store in your area, go visit and you might find that they have products like vegan caramel or a vegan pastry cream. All things are already made and are gonna save you some time in your bakes. And there's no shame in that, by the way, okay? There's no shame in using already made products. That's a hack that's gonna make your bakes so much more pleasurable to do. Vegan baking should not be a chore. It should be something you enjoy. And using some pre-made products, as long as they're vegan, is gonna make your life easier and it's gonna get you to the enjoying the baked good part a lot faster. So that's the whole point, right? So that's it. I hope you like my vegan baking hacks. If you have any of your own, make sure you put it in the comments below because I'm always down to learn a new vegan baking hack that's gonna make my life a lot easier. And if you like these tips, you might be interested in my top 10 tips for successful vegan baking. It's a free guide that I put together with all the advice that I wish somebody had given me when I was just getting started with vegan baking. You can get that for free. I'll put the link in the description below. You just go in there, put in your email address, it gets delivered straight to your inbox. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys here next Tuesday at 11 a.m. with a new video. Until then, you might wanna watch this video where I share my best tips for mastering vegan baking, or this one where I talk to my beginner, younger baker self and give her some advice that I picked up along the way. I will see you guys next time. Until then, stay curious.